We all know Premiere Pro and After Effects are among the best video editing software available, but they can be quite overwhelming for beginners. If you are new to editing, you are probably searching for something more user-friendly, yet still powerful. In that case, DaVinci Resolve is the perfect solution for you. It's a fair alternative to famous video editing tools like Premiere Pro or After Effects. It's simple, full of features, and it's free. So look no further and see how to get started with the DaVinci Resolve. First of all, go to Blackmagic Design's website and download the latest version of DaVinci Resolve and complete its installation. Once the installation is done, open it. When you open DaVinci Resolve, you'll have the choice to either open an existing project or create a new one. To start fresh, select New Project and give it a name. This will bring you to the main DaVinci interface, but before loading any media, it's important to review the project settings. To access these, click the cog icon located in the bottom right corner. The first thing you should do is verify that the timeline frame rate is accurate and matches the footage you are editing. DaVinci Resolve defaults to 24 frames per second, so if your footage is shot at a different frame rate, make sure to change it. If the timeline frame rates is modified, you'll also need to update the video format and playback frame rate to match the same settings. If you are working with raw footage, you can choose the appropriate camera brand from the camera raw project settings. This will ensure that your camera's metadata is imported into the project, as well as give you more control over your footage for optimal results. After all these settings are done, you're finally set to edit your first video on DaVinci Resolve. So you've already created a new project. It's time to bring in the video clips and other media you'll use to assemble your project. DaVinci Resolve offers several primary tabs dedicated to different stages of post-production. You can import files in a variety of ways, such as by navigating to the menu bar and selecting File, then Import, and then Import Media. Another option is to use the folder navigation menus within the Media tab, located in the top left window. If you are working within the Cut or Edit tabs, you can also right-click within the Media pool and choose Import Media. Alternatively, you can directly open the folder on your computer, select the desired media files, and drag them into the media pool. While video clips will make up most of your imported media, DaVinci Resolve allows you to import other file types too. Images like JPEGs and audio clips for music or sound effects can be added using the same methods to ensure all necessary components of your project are easily accessible in one place. After uploading your media files and video clips, your next step is to trim the clips to remove any unnecessary sections. To trim your clips, go to the Cut tab, select the clip you'd like to edit, and double-click its icon so it appears in the Video Preview window. From here, you can begin adjusting the clip. First, locate the point where you'd like the clip to start and press I to mark the in point. Then, find where you want the clip to end and press O to set the out point. Alternatively, you can hover over the clip thumbnail in the media pool and use the in-point and out-point shortcuts directly from there. If you decide to adjust these markers later, you can revisit the Cut tab to update them. Once you've trimmed your clips to remove any unwanted parts, you can begin assembling them in DaVinci Resolve's Timeline, which is found in the Edit tab. To place a clip on the timeline, drag it from the media pool onto the main timeline area at the bottom of the screen. As you add more clips, you can easily rearrange their order by dragging them to the desired position to form the sequence. You can preview your edit by moving the red playhead to the start of the timeline and pressing the spacebar to play through your rough cut. If you are not satisfied with how certain clips are edited, you can further adjust them by selecting the clip and modifying the in and out points in the preview window on the left. Alternatively, you can use the blade tool located at the top of the timeline to make precise cuts on any clip. After making a cut, the Select tool allows you to move the newly created clips around or delete them from the timeline. So DaVinci Resolve provides two types of text tools, Text and Text Plus. The basic text tool is useful for generating 2D titles quickly. It allows you to modify fonts, apply drop shadows, and even add a colorful background shape to make the text stand out. These titles can be either 2D or 3D, and can incorporate effects such as dynamic lighting, 3D shapes, and particle effects. For more advanced customization, Text Plus is available. To insert text and titles, open the Titles panel at the top left. 
Drag the text option into the timeline and make sure it sits on a layer above your video. Once selected, use the tool belt found below the video window. Open the title submenu located farthest to the right and then the inspector where you can customize fonts, apply drop shadows and add background shading. In order to add a transition in DaVinci Resolve, start by heading to the Edit tab. From the Effects Library panel in the top left corner of the interface, select Video Transitions from the toolbox. Drag the transition you want to use onto the timeline and place it between two clips. Then click on the transition icon in the timeline and open the Inspector panel in the top right corner. Here you can modify settings such as the transition duration and other options. DaVinci Resolve's wide array of transitions allows for extensive creativity, so we suggest experimenting with different shot combinations to see what new visual styles you can create. Though DaVinci Resolve's free version offers fewer effects plugins than the studio version, it still has a variety of useful options for beginners exploring the software. To apply effects to your project, head to the Edit tab and access the Effects Library. From there, select Open FX from the menu. Choose the effect you'd like to use, then drag it directly onto the video clip you want to modify. Once the effect is placed on your timeline, open the Inspector panel to make any desired adjustments to the effect. If you need to remove an effect, you can either delete it from the timeline or use the Trash Bin icon in the Effects panel. If you want the effect to apply across your entire video, you can achieve this by using an Adjustment Clip. You'll find this feature in the Effects Library under Effects and Adjustment Clip. Place the adjustment clip on a new layer in the timeline, then apply your chosen effect from the Open Effects menu to the clip for full timeline coverage. In this part, we'll focus on the cut page once again. To incorporate your own music, simply import it in the same manner you added your videos. If you don't have any music on hand, you can visit Motion Array to find free sample royalty-free music to use for your projects. To import music, follow the same process as you did for videos. Once your music is imported, drag and drop your selected track from the bin into the timeline. If you need to adjust the volume of the audio, click on the audio track, open the tool belt, and navigate to the audio tab to make the necessary changes. For more advanced audio features, explore the Fairlight tab in DaVinci Resolve. This specialized audio section has received recent enhancements, including automation curve editing and Flexbus integration, which significantly improve audio editing capabilities. Nevertheless, you can manage all basic audio and music functions directly within the cut and edit pages. One of the best features of DaVinci Resolve, particularly compared to other free editing software, is the Color tab. This powerful tool enables users to enhance their footage through precise color correction. By accessing the Color tab, a horizontal row of clips appears in the center of the interface so that you can choose individual clips for detailed editing. Once a clip is selected, it is displayed in the larger preview window. Most of the color correction tools are conveniently located in the bottom left corner of the color tab interface. Here you can set the black levels of your shot by using the black balance tool, represented by a crosshair with a black box icon. This tool allows you to select a specific area to establish the desired black level. Additionally, the white balance tool helps ensure that the highlights in your footage are accurate. If your clip appears too dark, you can restore detail by clicking and dragging the lift slider. Conversely, if the shot is overexposed, the gain tool allows you to recover lost details effectively. After editing your clips and incorporating all the transitions, text, and effects while ensuring the footage quality is consistent through color correction, your project is ready for export. Whether you plan to upload the video to YouTube or aim for the highest resolution possible, the Deliver tab offers a wide array of rendering options. You can quickly select preset settings suitable for YouTube and other frequently used formats with just one click, or opt for custom export to customize aspects such as format, codec, resolution, frame rate, and more. Alternatively, you can navigate to the Cut tab and use the Quick Export link found in the top right corner of the interface. This allows you to easily export and save your file in the format you prefer. Once DaVinci Resolve finishes processing your video, it will be ready for sharing on any platform you choose. So yes, your first video editing in DaVinci Resolve is done. But wait, we're not ending our video here. 
DaVinci Resolve has even more to offer you. Let's have a quick glimpse. The Fusion page within DaVinci Resolve offers a vast array of 2D and 3D tools designed for visual effects and motion graphics. Additionally, the advanced animation curve and keyframe editors enable you to produce exceptionally fluid and lifelike animations. In DaVinci Resolve Studio 19, you'll find more than 100 GPU and CPU accelerated Resolve FX, including various blurs, light effects, noise reduction, image restoration, lens flares, stylization options, and background defocus specifically for portrait images and a film look creator. This tool allows users to manipulate color shading, vibrance, hue, and luminance, making it easy to apply various cinematic looks to your footage. Fairlight hardware consoles are designed in partnership with professional sound engineers, which enhances your workflow by functioning as a seamless extension of the software. Their intuitive task-oriented design automatically adjusts to your needs by placing essential controls at your fingertips. The latest version of DaVinci Resolve comes both paid and free. The paid version will cost you $295 with even more powerful features, but we think the free version has all the features to make any beginner get started right now. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.